Well guys, good morning. Welcome to another Triple S Safaris Adventure videos. For those who don't know me, my name is Gerard. I'm the Chief Bottle Washer, Skinner, BH and Outfitter at Triple F Safaris. And uh, today is the 4th of June. It's just past 7 o'clock. The sun has just um, picked its head out. And we are finally starting uh, our hunting season after this COVID uh, problems we've had. I hope you guys, wherever you are, are safe and everything is uh, starting to open up for you as well. So uh, I'm waiting for my two hunters to come. We're going to be hunting some planes game this morning uh, up here in the ridges here behind me. As you can see, this is some of my concession areas. Look how beautiful this area is. There's the sun that peaks up here right behind me. And uh, yeah, we're on the escarpment, the second edge of the escarpment. To the east of me, um, as the sun is now picking up over the first edge, as you come in from Mbombela, you come over the Longton Pass, uh, Malsburg, you drop down, just behind this ridge here that you can see there, you see that ridge there? Just below that is the, uh, the Badfontein or the Quena Basin, and then from there we climb up to another uh, about about 500 meters uh, to 2,100 meters above sea level, roughly about 6,700 feet above sea level this morning. So I hope the guys pack their uh, walking shoes. We're going to be getting busy in these hills right behind us now. So stay tuned and let's see what happens today. Zebra as well. an old scans that the boers built with the Anglo Boer wall. So this is where they used to hide out.
let them go. Let's see where they're going to stop. Sometimes they don't come back this way. I'm not sure at this stage how we're not rising as well. That's blue, red, black, all the best for you. business. This felt uh, burned yesterday. The wind picked up and it ran away with him. So now we're hunting in the black stuff. So we want the black will the best to stand broadside. Okay, so we want to take the front leg and then you go up. Oh, okay, now he's walking then. This one. At 220, I basically want you to center punch right in the middle of the chest. Okay. Of course, with a drop, with your 3880 grain, it will drop right into the boiler room there. But this distance is just too far now. And we're shooting a bit downhill, so I don't want you to take the shot now. I'm glad you come for uh -huh. Okay, no, fine. We'll make a plan. Take a slow walk and see if we can't get this to this uh, end deal here. And maybe we can get a hunter set up here and uh, we're in distance. Slow, it doesn't. It's not right. Yelant, Zebra, Black Wildebeest, Bless Park, all mixed up here. Him. 
save us the back black old beers spring back place back beautiful morning here now it's gone now you can just get an open shot at the back but we're moving so we might be in business very soon All right now yeah it looks like he's got his knees broken yeah yeah it so, looks like it. Yeah. just so, turn uh, actually i have a shot now yeah there's no shot wait okay. wait if it turns broadside now i'll tell you when a little bit more Quite caught in the way. Yeah. It gives us a broadside here. Yeah, he's at 29. Let's wait. It's going to turn now. Wait for him. Just then, both side. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we clean the back as well. Yeah. Into the chest, you see where the uh, mouth is. Yeah, yeah. Just that same line into the chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's it. So, reload. Reload. Yes. Man. What's it, what's it, what's it? Man, no one is. Good shot. Man, sir. Need to go. Reload. I can see no fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, reload. Yeah, he's blood, Papa. Here's the black water beast. What? We just shot now. Beautiful. Shot at 230 meters. I need a shovel. Come around this way. What I want you to do, always remember when you approach an animal, that's done, come from the back. So if he does gonna jump up, he doesn't hit you. But look at this beautiful, beautiful animal. Beautiful bull. Congratulations. Thank you. Your first your first black wildebeest? Yeah. Thank and a beautiful, much. beautiful bull, and a great, great shot. Look at, look at these bosses. This is all that you want in a black wildebeest. Thick, thick bosses, black head. No, no. Trophy wise, what's beautiful about this guy is that it's an old bull, but um, 
your bend drops in below the eye that's one of the things and then if it becomes a big trophy your, your knife here pops out above the above the boss but for this my friend this is a beautiful animal congratulations once again thank you Gerard. look at the shot 230 meters hard shot first black all the best first kill with your 308 so buddy Fair again <laughs> i'm so proud of this shot good, good thank man. You. thanks for for doing this for us well congratulations what a beautiful animal tell us quickly what happened first of all thank you gerard um this is my first uh, black wildebeest uh, shooting with my 308 Samati. Uh, this gun is like three months old so i'm quite proud of it uh, on a distance of 230 meters um, lying for almost 20 25 minutes if not more waiting for the perfect shot and um, it's the first time i've shoot or shot so far uh, 230 meters and um great experience first shot kill amazing thanks a lot thank you very much it's a pleasure having you guys with us thanks a lot okay things happen a bit quickly we got a shot at the red heart beast bull and uh, we've got a red heart beast bull down beautiful animal 306 that is chop perfect in the middle of the vital triangles our animal is done my friend congratulations beautiful shot thank you very much this is a beautiful beautiful red heart beast bull the red heart beast um, it's easy to make a shot placement on them because you go up the leg you see this black here and then there where the where the black stops on the on the um, on the side on the shoulder that's where we want to put it in and you just put it an inch and a half to the right of it so perfect and our bull beautiful just look at all the all the thickness it's a beautiful beautiful bull also the other thing interesting about uh, red artipias as we call them the zoros of the felt remember zoro has got that black mask on so he's got this black face and then his eyes are the mask look at that see beautiful beautiful thank you old man thank you well congratulations to this amazing amazing red heart beast tell us quickly what happened this morning thank you gerard uh, we've been hunting the whole morning and this afternoon uh, i shot this roy heart beast it's my first one of my 3006 caliber and uh, thank you very much we appreciate it thank it's a you. it's a big pleasure to have you guys here um, for our viewers just to show you in the background there's the rest of the red heart beast so although we've been hunting and we've been busy here the red heart beast are so relaxed that they uh, didn't move more than 300 meters away so and that's how we want it and that's why we hunt on foot and we pay the respect and put the time in to get this stuff right thanks once again let's uh, see what else we can get today okay guys we're coming out this incline we have to read our beast so, a bit of work to get up here
Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, it was an awesome day. You guys really uh, uh, get some hard work working, walking around in these hills. But it was worth it at the end of the day. Both of you got some brilliant shots. Pity we couldn't get the uh, red heart beast on, on video. Uh, but it's a beautiful, beautiful animal. Your, your, your black will be a 220 meter shot. Uh, awesome, well done. And it's, uh, it's a pleasure having you guys here with us. And um, I'm looking forward to having you again very soon. Thanks, Harold. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure to have you guys. And uh, yeah, tell the guys about Triple F and what we do up here in the escarpment. Mm -hmm. It's always a pleasure to have the guys here and walk with them. And, Share them what this area is all about. Mm. We'll do. All right, perfect. Thanks, Mott. Okay, all right.